Hello, my name is John Averill, and I'm the bass player and band leader for the March 4th Marching Band from Portland, Oregon, United States. The original inspiration for the band came from an event called Burning Man, where I went to about 12, 13 years ago, which really encourages radical self-expression and people coming together to be themselves for one moment in time. And I thought it'd be more interesting to do something that was more sustainable throughout the year by putting on these events in Portland, which were celebrations. So the band was created for an event. It was a Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras style party here in Portland, so we decided to put together a marching band to see if we could generate that same kind of excitement and enthusiasm that we'd experienced at the Burning Man Festival and see if we could do that here in Portland, Oregon. So we threw a party and the idea being instead of creating a band and having everybody come see the band, um, to create an entire event where the audience was part of the experience and the separation between the band and the audience was blurred, so it created one whole experience. Well, after the first event, we realized that there was something magical going on. We felt this sense of, of joy and connectedness with people that we decided to continue the project as a regular band. And um, the second performance we did was for a protest in downtown Portland before we went to the Iraq war. And we performed in front of 18,000 people on the streets. And it was really that event that sort of galvanized the band and made us realize that this is something worth doing, that people needed to celebrate and people needed to come together. So we decided to be a band and we started practicing once a week and the next thing you know we're writing our own songs and recording and, and touring and so it just kept going from there. I think what the world needs right now is to feel more connected and that's pretty much what our job is and one of the most amazing things about the project I've found is that wherever we go touring around the country, you know, the United States is definitely divided into very separate cultures but when we come to town we just bring everybody together and it crosses over generations. We have grandparents and children showing up to the same show and enjoying the same show. There's no separation of style. It doesn't matter what you look like. It's all about coming together and just uh, being yourself for the night and, and having fun and enjoying life and forgetting about you know, your economic situation and the political situation in the world and whatever it is that might be bothering you. Just come together and meet your neighbors, dance with your neighbors. You know, It's pretty powerful. I think it's their radical inclusion, where they go out into the crowd and embrace everybody. You know, it doesn't matter their walk of life, their age, their sex. They include everybody and you feel like you're part of the band. Yeah. Just by the dancing. And yeah, that's really, I think, what brings the joy. Like, you just, it's infectious because when you're there, you just can't help but feel like you're part of it because mm. it's so big. <laughs> it's like <laughs> enveloping. should be fun 
and I think the purpose of music is to uplift people. And growing up and going through college, I never thought that you could make a living as a musician, and music was the thing that I was most passionate about. But instead, I worked uh, art-related jobs. I was a graphic designer for a number of years, and I worked in film, and then I became an animator, which actually led me to come to Portland. Um, and worked on a television show, and the show got canceled after three seasons, and this creative family that I had bonded with all separated and went to the next town where the next, where the next job was. And I decided, you know, at the time I was 35, and I decided, well, I've still got the energy to, to pursue something that I really want to do, so I decided to uh, start putting on shows and started started a late music career, I suppose. could, you know, go join the Peace Corps, but I don't think that would be the best use of my abilities. You know, I think that I'm supposed to be leading this band and just doing my small part to help help make the world a better place. I mean, it's tiny, but it, you know, if you affect one life, that's, that's an achievement. You know, if you change the life, some child is forever changed by something he saw on stage and their parents, you know, experience that, you know, that that's powerful stuff, you know, I, I um, definitely think that's the job to do.